Make us a burger. They won't stop. We love them. We miss them. We can't live without them. Okay, easing back on the melodrama a bit, but the truth is, these burgers need to make a serious comeback. Do you have a favorite that just vanished from the menu? See if it's one of these 10 fast food burgers we desperately want back. Part two. I am just making regular burgers. Regular stress-free burgers. McDonald's Superhero Burger. Superfood. Superheroes and cinematic universes are a big thing now, but back in the 90s, the only hero ruling the theaters was Batman. Back in 1995, the biggest movie at the box office was Batman Forever, so you can imagine that everywhere you went, chances were high that you would see Batman everywhere. Of course, all the major fast food franchises were bound to jump on the Batman hype train with merchandise and all that good stuff, especially the undisputed king of fast food, McDonald's. You can't do fast food! Have a the mega chain introduced Batman Forever themed Happy Meals, adult merch such as collector glasses, and the superhero burger. This movie tie-in burger was an impressive sight to say the least. The burger featured a longer hoagie style bun, a slice of cheddar and mozzarella cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo. But what made the burger a superhero was its three patties. The superhero burger even dwarfed the Big Mac with its massive size. Sadly, the burger disappeared from the menu shortly after Batman Forever disappeared from the theater, but that hasn't stopped its fans from crossing their fingers, hoping for its triumphant return. It can come back. BK's Whopperito. Like a burrito. Should this one count? Well, regardless of how you define a burger, this beauty is definitely worth mentioning. The delicious item in question is exactly what you think it is, a Whopper cross-pollinating with a burrito. Can't picture it yet? Say a Whopper and a burrito decided to have a baby. The Whopperito is what you get. The Whopperito debuted back in 2016 and featured lettuce, pickles, onions, and tomato, which are signature Whopper toppings. However, in place of cheese and mayo, the Whopperito featured queso sauce and taco-seasoned ground beef in place of the beef patty. Originally, the Whopperito started popping up in select areas such as Pennsylvania before branching out across the country. It's time for me to conquer the physical world. The burger-slash-burrito hybrid was created, or at least rumored to have been created, to compete with Chipotle, but this has never been proven. Whatever the reason for its creation, the Whopperito was a hit with most who sampled it. Unfortunately, the Whopperito was only a limited-time item. However, if you still need the Whopperito in your life, there are several BK menu hacks that you can perform to get your hands on a variation of the beloved burger-burrito fusion. When ordering a Whopper, ask to replace the bun with a tortilla. Hopefully, this clever little hack will keep you satisfied if or until the Whopperito makes a return to the menu. I'm leaving and I'm never coming back! Burger King's Burger Buddies. Oh, my buddy, where have you been? What's more fun than a slider? The tiny, two-bite burgers are not only delicious, but they can also make you feel like Shaquille O'Neal when he's holding a regular burger in his mammoth hand. For the most part, the only way you're going to get your hands on a fast food slider is if you head on over to your local White Castle or Crystal's. However, back in the 80s and early 90s, Burger King decided to throw its crown into the ring and started offering its own version of the slider. The first incarnation of the BK slider went by the name Burger Bundles. These mini burgers were popped onto the menu in 1987 and featured three to six sliders with interconnecting buns. While the Burger Bundles were a big hit, cooking issues stemming from the small patties falling through the grill caused the chain to discontinue the tiny burgers. How did this slip through the cracks? However, the BK Sliders made a comeback in the early 90s, this time going by the name Burger Buddies. Burger Buddies were slightly different from their bundle cousins, as the Buddies were twin burgers connected by both the bun and patty. The Burger Buddies also came in a chicken and breakfast variety, but sadly, the Buddies went the way of Burger Bundles and vanished shortly after their debut. However, you can't keep a good mini burger down, apparently, because in the mid to late 2000s, the chain introduced Burger Shots, which were were yet another take on the slider. Unfortunately, the burger shots suffered the same fate as the other BK sliders and were discontinued. It's usually three strikes and you're out, but in this case, maybe with one more chance, BK can hit a home run. Lucky winner number four. First time here? Well, don't be the only one on the block who isn't an official babble topper. Just hit that subscribe button to never miss out. Thanks, you're the best.
Wendy's Carolina Classic Burger. The second worst of the Carolinas. Southern-style cuisine is some of the tastiest food in the U.S. Whether you're in the mood for some Cajun spice, Texas barbecue, or some Southern fried goodness, the American South has been responsible for some classic finger-licking dishes. However, apart from the fried chicken franchises, most fast food joints in the northern states tend to steer clear of Southern-inspired cooking. Now, that's not to say the big chains haven't dabbled in Southern food occasionally. Such was the case with Wendy's Carolina Classic Burger. The Carolina Classic featured the chain's signature old-fashioned quarter-pound square patty and zesty chili. If that wasn't enough, the burger also featured diced onions, mustard, and a big old pile of coleslaw for that extra bit of Southern charm. Let's save the Southern charm. Originally, the burger was offered only in the Carolinas. However, the burger eventually became available nationwide before, sadly, being taken off the menu. However, the Carolina Classic Burger did make a brief comeback in 2019 before once again vanishing from the menu. While Wendy's customers understood that the Carolina Classic was never intended to be anything more than a limited-time item, the overwhelming positive reaction to the burger can't be ignored, and the Carolina Classic is more than likely to make a comeback. Just keep those chili-covered, coleslaw-drenched fingers crossed. Just wait. It's coming. The Western Whopper. Everything in the West has its price. It's safe to assume that just about everyone has heard of Burger King's iconic Whopper, the chain's signature sandwich. Did you know that the Whopper also happens to predate the Big Mac by more than 10 years? Meaning BK had a giant head start on McDonald's in the signature burger race. Through the years, the Whopper has stayed pretty much the same, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, as you know, that doesn't mean there hasn't been a slew of variations and alternate versions of the iconic sandwich. From the Whopper Jr. to the fiery Angry Whopper, there have been a handful of Whoppers offered to BK's loyal fan base, all with varying degrees of success. One of the most popular versions of the classic burger is the Western Whopper. Attempting to piggyback on Burger King's success. First popping up on the menus in the 1990s, the Western Whopper featured all the ingredients Whopper fans have become familiar with, like the flame-broiled patty, lettuce, tomato, cheese, mayo, and onion. What sets the Western Whopper apart from the original was a few strips of bacon and tangy bullseye barbecue sauce. The Western Whopper was just different enough to be new and exciting without being too much of a departure from the famous original. Unfortunately, the Western Whopper, much like grunge music, music didn't make it out of the 90s and was discontinued in early 97, as the burger was only a limited-time item. Fans of the burger are likely donning their cowboy hats and waiting patiently for the Western Whopper to make its rootin' tootin' return. Here's hoping. Don't you think the cowboy hat's a little much? McDonald's Mick Jordan Special You are not Michael Jordan. Jordan or LeBron, who's the best? This has been a continued heated debate among basketball fans. What isn't up for debate is that in his day, Michael Jordan was the undisputed king of the court, and his name and likeness was just about everywhere. Sure, we're all well aware of his Nike Air Jordans, as they're selling just as well today as they did back in the 90s. However, at one point, Jordan even had his own signature burger, courtesy of the king of the fast food chains. McDonald's debuted the McJordan special burger back in the early 90s. The burger was basically a specialty quarter pounder, with the difference being the addition of tangy barbecue sauce and bacon joining the standard pickles, cheese, onions, and mustard. These additional ingredients were Jordan's personal preferences and specifications. It became personal with me. The McJordan debuted fittingly in Chicago first, before moving to other locations throughout the country, such as North Carolina, Jordan's college town. The burger was so well received that its originally scheduled run was extended before the burger was eventually removed from the menu by the end of 1992. An interesting fact about the burger was that if you happen to be a resident of North Carolina, you could get the McJordan special one cent cheaper for every point Jordan scored in a game. Though the McJordan did experience a brief comeback the following year, much like MJ's baseball career, it was eventually retired for good. I, I took offense to that. Burger King's Big Turkey 
That's Big Bird's friend. We all know how successful and beloved the chicken sandwich is. In fact, you'd be hard-pressed to find a fast food franchise that doesn't have a version of the sandwich on their menu. But what about the other forms of poultry out there, such as turkey? <laughs> Not only is turkey just as delicious as chicken, it also happens to be a bit healthier. With that said, you'd think that at least one of the big boy fast food joints would have a version of the turkey burger on their menus. Well, BK just so happened to be the first mega chain bold enough to offer its customers a turkey burger back in the 2010s. Debuting in 2013, Burger King's Big Turkey burst on the scene and was gobbled up by the masses. Okay, the name needs a little work, but the Big Turkey was a big hit. Doesn't matter what the name is. The burger featured lettuce, ketchup, tomato, mayo, red onion, as well as a grilled turkey patty, and was well received. While the Big Turkey was a tasty departure from the chicken sandwich, it was also a healthier option, which is a major plus as most folks are more health conscious than ever before. Sadly, the Big Turkey is no longer on the Burger King menu, much to the dismay of the many fans of the burger. While Burger King was the first of the mega burger chains to offer a turkey burger, smaller chains such as Carl's Jr. and Hardee's not only offered theirs first, but their turkey burger is still on the menu. Well, I mean, we're going to have to keep an eye on it, you know, make sure we don't lose it again. Hardee's Beyond Sick Burger. It's like uh, above and beyond, right? Many of the chains have experimented with offering the health-conscious eaters out there something apart from salads and the occasional turkey burger. In fact, many of the burger franchises have begun serving plant-based options like the Beyond Meat Burger. Vegetarianism and veganism have been on the rise for some time now. For reasons such as ethics and health, the move toward a plant-based diet has gained momentum over the years. However, much like the standard omnivore diet, a lack of diversity can lead to boredom. Luckily, a product such as Beyond Meat exists to help shake up food monotony and help those new to a plant-based diet transition a little easier. You can't just say you're giving up red meat, there has to be some motivation behind it. Hardee's is one of the chains that decided to jump on board the Beyond Meat bandwagon by introducing its Beyond Thick Burger. As you'd expect, the Beyond Meat version of the Thick Burger came complete with all the standard Thick Burger ingredients, such as lettuce, tomato, ketchup, onions, pickles, and mayo. The Beyond Meat patty was the only difference made to the burger, and for those who sampled the plant-based burger, the result was a pretty tasty burger. Unfortunately, the Beyond Thick Burger was discontinued, so it seems like it's back to salads for those plant lovers if you happen to stop at Hardee's for lunch. Who orders a salad from a burger joint? The Fiesta Whopper. Let's Fiesta! The Burger King Whopper's variants can be rather hit or miss. The Western Whopper and Angry Whopper are two examples of the alternate Whopper done right. But in the 90s, Burger King decided to tweak the Whopper by simply swapping out the standard ketchup with something that had a bit more kick. The result? The Fiesta Whopper. Which one of y'all kick me? Me. The Whopper featured all the standard Whopper ingredients and a spicy sauce, which made the Fiesta a sort of precursor to the spicy Angry Whopper. Unsurprisingly, the Fiesta Whopper was an instant hit. Sadly, this Whopper variation wasn't long for this world and disappeared from the menu. Now that there are plenty of spicy options on the Burger King menu, it's not likely that the Fiesta Whopper will be making a comeback anytime soon. Are you enjoying your Fiesta? Actually, yeah. BK's Enormous Omelette Sandwich. How big is it? The breakfast menu is one of the most beloved options for any fast food joint. The invention of the breakfast menu was a game changer for hungry commuters and was also a quick and easy way for just about anyone to grab a morning bite without having to worry about the prep and dishes. With that said, we're all familiar with some heavy hitters of the fast food breakfast world, like the Egg McMuffin and the relatively new kid on the block, like the McGriddle. However, there's one particular breakfast item that left us too soon. BK's enormous omelet sandwich, big enough to be considered a breakfast burger. Let's see how many I can fit in my mouth. The massive breakfast sandwich burst onto the scene back in 2005 and featured two folded omelets, cheese, bacon, and sausage. Because why stop at one pork product? Product when you can have two. What better way to start your day than with this gigantic full-course breakfast that you can hold in your hands? Well, you can't enjoy the enormous omelet sandwich anymore as it was discontinued. This was due to most folks realizing that the amount of fat and calories in the enormous omelet sandwich was more than that of the Whopper. If I want to get fat, I get fat. We're open 24-7, so tap or click another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. And hey, leave us a comment.